Okay, so at the Albury Park Hotel for the Finish the Press Conference for Understarters Order, the show the 29th of November at York Hall. I'm joined by a welterweight Matt McCarthy. How you doing, Matt? All good, mate. Thank you. Now, it's been an interesting road to get here, Matt. Obviously, we've known each other for, for a long time. Um, I know you're 18 years old when you've helped me turn over. Your career's exploded since then uh, under Miranda Carter, and your, your record is currently 9-1. and one. Um, Just come into this fight, just signed a three-year promotional deal with the Goodwins. Yeah. You're managed and trained by Terry Coulter. Um, just tell us a little bit about how your pro career's gone so far. Well, it started back when I was 18. Obviously, I turned over pro myself. And uh, I was having fights and fights and fights. So I had, for an 18-year-old, I was having four fights in the first year and four fights a year. It's, it's a lot. I had a lot of fights in a short space of time. And uh, I picked up my first title when I was 19. I won the British Masters, international one. And uh, then I, I sort of been hitting a brick wall after every fight. I ain't been having no improvement. I've just been, uh, it's the same, same Matt McCarthy game and that. And I started losing a bit of, a uh, little bit of respect for the sport. And I went into the, my last fight with a lack of respect and like I had problems going in. I, I won every round of the fight. I got to 30 seconds before the last bell, and I got hit with one clean shot. And Bob Williams was a bit useless and decided to step in. I thought he was going to say break, but never. And uh, it ended up that I lost the fight, which it shouldn't have been a loss of the fight. And uh, we went into the changing room after they come in. He said I was the best fighter he fought, and he gave me the rematch. But he didn't want the rematch after. And after that, I sat down and said to myself, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to continue boxing. And then. Uh, I had a little thing, and I decided, no, it's, it's what I do. And I teamed up with Terry Coulter, and I've been training with him for a while now. And I've, like, the improvement's been uh, immense. I just feel like a totally different fight. I'm stronger, I'm faster, more experienced just in them weeks. I've had good sparring, and uh, I signed a management deal with Terry. So I think the trainer, if you've got a trainer who's got a manager's license, he knows what you're capable of doing. He takes the right fight. So it's, that, that's in his hands for the fights now. So I feel like... I feel like everything's, I've turned over a new leaf in the box and I feel like everything's gone the right way and I can't wait to fight on the 29th now. And that was when we, we met in Romford when we were chatting with yourself and, and Terry and, and obviously Terry you know, signed over the, the deal to Steve Williams to promote you and, and obviously it was the best interest to do it. How important is that to have people in your team that you trust? Of course it is. Like I got offered I got offered a lot of coaches to go with once I parted with Mark Bates and I turned down a lot of offers because I think if you, you've got to feel comfortable with who you're trained by and if you're not comfortable and you ain't got the confidence of gaining there with someone in your corner, then there's no point of being in the ring because you can get hurt. You've got to have the confidence in your training. You've got to have the confidence in the whole team. And I, I teamed up with Terry and we've done a little bit of training and it clicked straight away. And I thought after that, right, this is it. As long as we've got a good go. And uh, the confidence is there. The respect's there. We both know what we want and we both know where we can go. So basically your team's the biggest part in the boxing. Ain't just yourself. If you ain't got the right team around you, boxing's not there. So, I mean, you've had three years or coming to your third year as a pro. Terry, I think, has had a licence for 27 years. So, obviously, between you and obviously with, with myself and, and Steve and Josh, you know, there's a lot of a year's experience in boxing, so it's good. So, obviously, we haven't got an opponent confirmed for you for the 29th of November. I know we've got a couple of possibles. What do we expect to see? I know when we spoke, when we, we met in Romford, we sat there, and obviously yourself and Terry had said that there hadn't been no improvements. What improvements do we expect to see on the 29th of November? Power. A lot of power. It's going to be the power. The power has changed so much since I've been with Terry. The power's there, the speed's there, the mo everything's just come in the last six weeks. It's just been there. So I think on the on the twenty ninth, it could be a good knockout coming on the twenty ninth. Then after that, we can push on. We've got another fight on the the March show, the maximum fight past one, and uh, that bit be an eight rounder. Then after that, who knows? We can go challenge for the southern area. See who's got the southern area at the time. But at the moment, it's about getting back out. I ain't been out for five months now. It's been back out. I'm with a new trainer, new manager, new promotion team. So it's about getting out, getting the win, getting back on track and pushing myself up there. And you're 21 years old still, so there's still plenty of time. There's, there's no need to, to hurry and start screaming through it. You know, you're, you're experienced. Probably, you know, I don't suppose there's many fighters 21 years old that's got as many fighters as you have so far. So it's about taking your time. Well, look, obviously, if tickets are still available. You've always done well for selling tickets, but we know how important it is that you sell tickets. If people want to get, get in contact with you, how do they do that? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? I'm on uh, Twitter, Matt McCarthy Box. And uh, I'm on Facebook at Matt McCarthy. So if anyone wants to get your tickets in the inbox, then uh, you stick something like that. Still got tickets available? Tickets are still available. Ringside's still available. 35's available. Just inbox me and get your info. All right, so 29th November. Just last thing is, obviously, so you get your T-shirt on. Is there any sponsors or anything you'd like to say to a sponsor just while you've got the opportunity? Yeah, I've, I've just been uh, sponsored by Ricky Mayman in uh, Kent from AEM Demolitions. He's uh, literally uh, sponsored me for every fight now. So that's going to be my full sponsor. And uh, I've got sponsored by Trusty Craig for this fight as well. He's helped sponsor me, so he helped me in the training. 
you need them little sponsors to have time off of work. Do you know what I mean? Especially when you're getting up, training. I train at four o'clock in the morning. I go work, train at six o'clock every day without fail. So it's hard. It's nice to have a couple of days off a week. Do you know what I mean? So it's nice. But yeah, just say thank you to them. And uh, thank you to everyone that's purchased your tickets from me. And uh, I'll show you what we're doing this coming night. Okay, so 29th, we look forward to how the next three years pan out with obviously yourself, Steve Gooperman, and Terry Cole all working together. And uh, thanks very much. Look forward to 29th November.